Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to program your Vista 21 IP to use internet only. Now the Vista 21 IP is a Honeywell or now known as Residio wired alarm system. It is basically the same thing as a Vista 20P except the Vista 21 IP has an internet communicator built into it right onto the board. Um, so the panel comes ready, all you have to do is plug it in to your router and you're ready to go. Now you also have the option of adding cellular communicators to them. Uh, right now uh, there are no LTE cellular communicators for the normal Vista 21 IP. You do have the option of adding an external cellular communicator. You just have to do something with a jumper to turn it to look for external communicators and not use the internal ones. It's a whole setup. If you guys decide to do that, you can contact us and we can help you out with that. But today I'm just going to show you guys how to program it to use internet only. So uh, the first thing we need to know is the installer code. We do need to be able to go into programming and make sure you have the installer code, not the master code. There's a difference. Installer code you use to go into programming. The master code and any other sub-user codes you use to arm and disarm the system. All right. Um, so if you know your installer code, you would enter that in plus 800, which is the, co the command to enter into the programming. So mine is defaulted, so I'm going to enter in 4112. 800 and it brings me into installer code 20. Now, if you're looking closely, I have a 6160 alphanumeric keypad, which means it actually displays the fields that I'm in. And you are going to need a 6160 because the level of programming that we're going into is actually deep level programming, which is where we need to be to change the uh, IP or the communication settings on your Vista 21 IP. If you're using a 6150, meaning if you enter in your installer code 800 and you only see a 20, this process will not work for you and you should stop and exit out before you go into deep level programming as you'll be working blindly and can possibly break your system, which would cause you to have to buy a new one and you don't want that. All right. So when we're in installer code programming, we have to go to our communications menu, which is star 29. So star 29. Now it's asking us if we want to enable IP GSM and already you can tell the difference between the alphanumeric and the 6150 fixed English, right? It doesn't show that. So that's what I'm saying. You're working blind. You don't know what to enter in. If you don't know if, a, if it accepted a button press, you literally have nothing to go off on this keypad. This one is the one you will need to go into deep level programming. You need to keep the IP GSM enabled. So I'm going to hit one for yes. Hit one and then star to continue to the next menu. Now it's giving us the option to program, to check the diagnostics or to quit we need to go into the programming of the communication settings on the Vista 21 IP. So I just enter in one and it brings me into my first field, the internal device. Now I actually have um, the internal communications enabled on this system, which is what I was telling you earlier about the jumper, which is a completely different subject. But um, so since I have that on the correct uh, two jumpers, it's looking for internal communications and I actually have a GSM board snapped into my Vista 21 IP, but today's video is showing you how to enable it for IP only. So when you're in these menus, you use star to scroll through the options and pound to go to the next option. So I'm going to hit star just to show you guys what we have, right? We have, we had IP at first. Now we have GSM. Now we have IP and GSM. And then if we hit star one more time, we're going to get disabled. So if you want to disable the comms, you would do that here. Um, and if you hit star again, we're going to get IP only. So I don't want my panel to look for the GSM. I just want it to use internet only and you can program it to do so just by switching this in the communication di um, the communication programmings. So after we do this, uh, you now hit pound to go to the next field and the rest of the field are all communication settings that you don't need to worry yourself about. This is mainly for the alarm company. So what I'm going to do is just hit pound until I get to the very end, which it's going to ask me if I want to review and I'm going to simply put no. So you see there's a lot of different options here. At the end, it will ask me to review. So 
So review, make sure when you're doing this, you're also going through it slow. Um, you don't want to just keep hitting pound and then get here and hit pound by accident. Uh, it, it's going to ask you if you want to review it, yes or no. Review means you want to you want to go over every single thing that you changed. Um, you don't have to review it, so it's giving you the yes or no option. This is where I have to use my function keys. Um, the bottom one is shift. The third one is yes or it's no or yes. The second one is up or down. And this one, if you use shift and the top one, it's to exit. So right now I'm just going to hit no. So I'm going to hit the third key and it'll, you'll see it'll, it'll put N for November right there. And after I hit N, I'm going to hit um, pound to move to the next field. It'll say uh, up, updating the root file. Uh, for mine, I believe it said failed, but that again, that's because it's not registered. And then it should take you out. If you guys get stuck in a blank screen, you will have to use the shift and exit. So you'll have to use the um, the fourth button and the top button if you guys get stuck on a screen that you're entering in numbers and it's not allowing you to exit. If it takes you back out to here, perfect. Just hit star 99 and you're out. If you don't get the enter star or pound, again, hit the shift function and hit the top button and then it should take you back to the main programming screen where it'll say enter star pound and then you can exit by using star 99. Um, now again, this is just if you plan on using the Vista 21 IP with internet only. Um, that's if you're using the internal internal communication devices on the panel. If you put the jumper to the off position and you're gonna use an external communicator, so you can use the LTE IA, LTE IV, 7847i, um, it's still the same process. You still have to go into Star 29 to go into the communication uh, programming, but it would just the jumper would be on a different set of pins. All right, so if you guys need any help whatsoever getting your Vista 21 IP set up for monitoring, activated, if you guys need any help, by all means, contact us at support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications by hitting the bell icon so when we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.